It's time for all Africans to get together. I'm here at the Africa Diaspora Investment Symposium and I'm joined by Peter Kajodi, who won an Africa Innovation Award. Peter, it's really great to have you here today. Thank you, thank you, Jason. It's great. I mean, this award is... Karibu uh, sana. Asante sana. <laughs> great. So tell us about... Um, this award was awarded to you and I, you delivered quite a, quite a stirring keynote um, address. Yes, yeah, this award really is uh, for the Kenyan farmers who have uh, come up with an amazing product of uh, coffee called Shiriki. Mm -hmm. It's the first time that uh, uh, Kenyan farmers have actually added their coffee and they're bringing it into the diaspora market, into the US and Canada. And um, a lot of it is about innovation because as you know, Africa doesn't consume coffee because of challenges of uh, brewing and uh, just convenience. But the, this uh, packaging really and the fact that uh, we have been able to come up with a product like this yes. uh, is really a breakthrough. When did you come up with the idea for the company? And how, what was the process of that journey of entrepreneurship like for you? I think for me the journey started about 15 years ago when we set up the East African Fine Coffees Association. Mm -hmm. During that time we had uh, promoting the coffee house in Kenya. We had actually people like uh, Danny Glover and uh, Harry Belafonte coming all the way from California to, to just support the farmers and the whole concept of the coffee culture. Yes. But you know now, almost 10 years after that, uh, we have a big uh, Nairobi Java house and, uh, and uh, art cafe and the prolification of the coffee house in Kenya is yeah. because of this journey yeah, yeah. that we took about 15 years ago. Yeah, that, that's absolutely phenomenal. And now, so you're selling this in the US. Help us understand the business model. You're roasting coffee, it's being shipped here and it's being sold directly to supermarkets. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's possible that uh, there's always been this idea that you, you can't roast the coffee and then sell it into the US. You must actually sell the green beans. Uh, I think that model is uh, becoming a little bit out of date right now because we do know that uh, we have airlines like Kenya Airways that is going to be uh, coming directly from Nairobi to New York. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Ethiopian Airlines that actually come directly from Nairobi to New York. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are able actually to roast coffee in Nairobi and within two to three days we have the coffee uh, at your doorstep uh, and still looking fresh. What a phenomenal innovation. I think it's going to help the, the farmers a lot. Yeah, plus the model is that we also want to empower the people in the diaspora yeah. to actually uh, do the business of coffee themselves, empower them to actually market, the, uh, take the coffee as a business yes. and become entrepreneurs so, so that they can also grow the business and grow with us. That's absolutely phenomenal. Well, Kenya is very proud of you. Africa is very proud of you. Continue on the journey, Peter. It's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And I know the whole idea is to give the farmers a little bit more money than what they're making yeah. through a fair trade product and certified products. Phenomenal. I mean, Thank you for your work. Thank you very much. To free Africa. 2,000 years of history.